Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be showing you how to solve a Brayton cycle problem or gas power cycle problem. Uh, and uh, I have solved the problem and I will show you the steps by which you can solve any type of Brayton cycle problem. So before starting with the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below. Also check my other videos. All the links are given in the description. Do follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. All the links are given in the description at the end. If you find this video helpful, please share this video and uh, please like this video. Also, if you have any doubt or you have any suggestion, feedback, please mention in the comment section below. Now, starting with the video. So, a typical Brayton cycle problem. So, they will give you the maximum and minimum pressure. So, here in this question, they have given that the pressure at before the compression is 1 bar and after the compression it is 12 bar. Also the maximum temperature of the whole cycle it is 1200 Kelvin. So in the previous video I have explained you what is the TS diagram. So TS diagram of Brayton, pipe, Brayton cycle is this from 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 to 2 it is isentropic compression. 2 to 3 is constant pressure heat addition. 3 to 4 is isentropic uh, isentropic expansion and 4 to 1 is constant pressure heat rejection so we have to find what is the temperature after compression that is we have to find T2 temperature after expansion that is we have to find T4 compression work that is MCP T2 minus T1 turbine work that is MCP T3 minus T4 and efficiency of the cycle so how you have to begin first because they have not given the temperature T1 so you can assume that it, it is atmospheric temperature that is 25 degree celsius or 298 kelvin degree celsius plus 273 is 298 kelvin all right this you have to assume if they do not give if they give then you have to use that value but here they have not given so we have to assume also they have given the temperature that is maximum temperature of the cycle is 1200 kelvin so maximum temperature is t3 so T3 is given to be 1200 and the pressure are given as 1 bar and 12 bar. So 1 bar is at P1 that is P1 is equal to P4 is equal to 1 bar and P2 is equal to P3 is equal to 12 bar. So pressure ratio will be 12 upon 1 is equal to 12. So we will proceed step by step and please follow. I would go, go sir. I would go some slowly so that you can understand. So first we have to find what is the temperature after compression. So T2. So this these are the re relations that is T2 by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma. And T3 by T4 is equal to P3 by P4 to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Gamma is 1.414. Now this relation comes because PV to the power gamma is equal to constant and PV is equal to NRT. So by substituting it, this relation comes. Now you have to use this relation to find T2. T1 is known, you multiply here. So T2 comes out to be 616.85 Kelvin. Gamma is 1.414. So gamma minus 1 upon gamma is 0.414 upon 1.414. And P2 by P1 is 12 by 1. So this to the power this into T1. T1 we already know. We have assumed it 298 Kelvin. So T2 comes out to be 616.85 Kelvin. Similarly, T3 by T4 is P3 by P4 to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma. We substitute the values and we find out T4. Now T4 is T3 upon this value. So T4 comes out to be 589.57 Kelvin. Also students remember that before you make rough diagram you always make this TS diagram with the pencil. This is a very important point I am telling you. Otherwise the examiner can uh, give you less marks. Although your numerical is correct. Why? Because here T2 comes out to be 616.85 Kelvin and T4 comes out to be 589.57. So I have drawn this diagram correctly. That is 
T4. T4 comes out to be like this. So, 4 point should be lie below 2 point. T2 temperature is more. T4 temperature is slightly less. So, T2 should be higher and T4 should be lower in the diagram. Because this diagram represents the particular temperature corresponding on the y axis. So, T3 is maximum. So, it is at the topmost point. Then comes T2 then T4 and T1 is minimum. So, this diagram is correct. If you make just rough hand, suppose uh, T4, these 4 points come here, but the temperature at 4 is less than 2, so your diagram would be wrong. So, you have to correct your diagram according to the values obtained after solution. I hope you got the point. So, this is the correct diagram. It denotes that one point temperature is least, then 2 then 3 and 4 is lesser than 2 so you have to plot and you have to correct your diagram accordingly after solution all right now what you have next we have to find we have to find compression work turbine work so compression work is mcp t2 minus t1 and turbine work is mcp t3 minus t4 so compression work is mcp t2 minus t1 or because mass flow rate of air is not given so we can assume it to be 1 kg per second if if it has been given in the question then you have to multiply all right so cp is 1.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin t2 we have found out t1 we have found out so you subtract and uh, work of compression comes out to be 320 kilojoule per kg remember the answer would be kilojoule per kg because we have taken 1 kg per second mass flow rate of air similarly work of turbine would be mcp t3 minus t4 or cp t3 minus t4 again we are assuming 1 kg per second so 1.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin is cp into t3 we have found out t4 t3 is known t4 we have found out so minus so this is the value and work of turbine comes out to be 613.5525 kilojoule per kg units are very important now final what we have to find we have to find efficiency now efficiency can be found out directly by using the formula 1 minus 1 upon rp to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma that is 1 minus 1 upon pressure ratio to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma or 1 minus 1 upon 12 to the power 0.414 upon 1.414 efficiency comes out to be 50.86 percent but i suggest you do not use this formula if the question is uh, question is of lesser marks then you can use but if the question is of more weightage more marks then you first find what is q input that is the heat input constant pressure heat input you find this so efficiency would be the net work obtained from the cycle upon the heat input so work of turbine minus work of compression upon q in so we have found out wt work of turbine we have found out wc work of compressor we substitute here and q input similarly q input is q input is mcp t3 minus t2 so q input is now m again we are considering to be 1 kg per second so 1.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin into t3 minus t2 t3 is 1200 we know and T2 we have calculated. So, subtract this is the value. You solve this. It comes out to be 50.085. Now, you observe that efficiency value is very close. 50.085 and 50.86. So, you can both are correct. But I suggest that if the weightage of the question is more, you go efficiency you solve by this method. Not do directly using the formula. So, it all depends on the examiner that how he examined your question and uh, but it's my opinion that you should do by this and you have to find q input separately then you will substitute here don't substitute directly just like that and uh, you will first find q input you write wt wc you write q in then you use this formula then you substitute the values then you find so step by step because in University exams, um, 
mainly you carry they carry the step marking and if it comes in gate or ies or any other exam then you can go by this formula you have to solve it in very less time so i have told you the whole procedure how to solve now if you have found this video helpful please like the video comment share as much as you can and check out my other videos all the links are given in the description i hope my teaching is beneficial to you if so please comment please like and uh, all right now i will see you in the next video take care bye bye go whatever i see i'll remember